This is Nathan Morley with another video on the LEGO salvage truck. Well, the machine is mechanically wise done. Everything is here that should be here, and everything that's here is the way, or close to the way it should be. Um, before I put all the cosmetic pieces on, I thought I'd uh, make a quick video on all the mechanical systems that are installed on the machine currently, uh, before I put all the aesthetic pieces back on. So, up front, up here we have the modulator, you have this chunk right here, underneath which is the governor. Uh, behind that is the are the four main motors, and behind that is the transmission, and between, between the motor and the transmission, the clutch, uh, well the clutch is no longer there. I moved that uh, actually right back here to a place just under this um, crazy um, transmission controller system that you all should remember quite well from those previous videos. I moved it back here between the transmission and the rear wheels to give the machine a much better coasting performance. It turns out the transmission provides a very very large amount of mechanical drag when it's in low gears. So underneath here is the new clutch then just aft there of it under all the wiring is the motor and the gearing system that runs the clutch. Then on either side of this whole system here are the 10 switches, which are the multiplexer. Uh, they control which functions are being engaged um, currently. Just aft of that is the motor and gearbox system that controls the multiplexer and also controls the extension and retraction of the front um, two outrigger legs, which have been uh, deinstalled temporarily. Uh, moving a little farther aft, we have the four uh, mounting points for the rear shock absorbers. We have the uh, fenders here. And there's also the turntable onto which the excavator will eventually mount and the system that drives it. And moving further aft, we have the motor right here, which controls the extension and retraction of the two rear outrigger legs. Then all around in here is the pump, switch, and valve for the uh, brakes. So the switch, uh, the valve is just dump, a dump valve for the air pressure that's built up. The switch feeds back to the transmission controller when the brakes are applied so that the transmission controller can open or close the clutch. Then finally, right on the very back end here, we have the trailer hitch. So to attach and release the trailer you just have to press in the little spring-loaded button so that uh, removes the catch over the little trailer hitch so you can put the trailer, attach the trailer or disconnect the trailer. Then uh, to capture the trailer, the trailer hitch just release the button and it springs back into place to lock the trailer onto the machine. So Hopefully this has been a nice insight into how the machine works mechanically. Hopefully next time you see it, it will be all back together and rolling. So keep watching.